hi everyone. Um, I'm going to try and help you learn how to start a SimCity 4 city. We'll start off from scratch here. Um, I'm going to be using a technique that's called a, a neighborhood oriented development, but I'm going to be modifying that a little bit so it works a bit better in SimCity 4. Alright, let's get to it. Now the first thing I like to start off with is a railway track. Alright, railway track is a really cheap, cheap public transport system. So I first want to start off with, we start on the edge, so I can create a connection. We'll come out. Seems about far. Now I don't like to create neighborhood connections straight away. With roading as it is, with railway, yes I do. Now this is because I would like people to use trains rather than cars. It's a great way of avoiding air pollution on roadways and lessens traffic congestion, especially on those little roads that connect to the site. So we start three away from the railway tracks, like this. And I place a passenger railway station. Connect it like that. Alright, so I need to make sure that this road length here is, is eight across. Now you'll see what I mean, but it just makes these nice little grid-like patterns that come out from it. It's a way of centralizing everything in the center here. I'm going to have my train station, my medical center, my schools, and a little park as well. So we have everything condensed in the center, and we just let everything go from there. So, I come out already here, and then I can tell that this is going to be 8 by 8 Or $80. I'm using roads here, so it should be $80. $80, and then $8 across. Alright, so just make these squares, 80 by 80. Now, the only ones that will be different will be the ones that cross the road. So just form a nice little square like this. Uh, the ones that's going to be different is here. Now before we move anywhere forward, we're going to need to see how the high school fits in with everything. So the high school is a wee bit bigger. So if we can do this, and we can squeeze in, uh, let's go to services, put a medical clinic in. You just want to see the circle for medical clinic. You might want to put that on the right hand side if you're developing the right hand side of the map because the residential area will probably expand out a little bit more this way as we'll have the central commercial business district in between these two residential developments that I'm going to build. So we'll plonk that there, and in the space behind it, chuck in the water tower. Make sure you get the game on pause, otherwise your budget's just going to be windling down while you build this up. Um, then we'll put in a small primary school, or elementary school, as they're called. And then behind that, on the other side of the railway tracks, we're going to fit in the high school. So, alright, and then you just put a road around this, boom, let me work from here. Okay. Now you just want to come up 8 again. 80, yeah, brilliant. If you're using normal streets for this, the grey roads, um, it's just $40, it gets higher because it's not quite as much. And then we'll put a park in here as well. Uh, park, park, park. Yeah, medium playground, that fits nice and good. Anyway, and in these areas here, we're going to put medium density commercial. These are going to be the small local shops and services that get filled up quite nicely. Okay, now for density talk. I'm just going to drag this railroad out so it doesn't get my way anymore, like so. Now, we're going to have the most height, we're going to have the highest density right around the center, because that's where we want the most sims to live, so they don't have to go travel as far to get deep places. So, we'll drag it out like this, see how it fits in nice 3x3, three three. here as well, 3, 3, get the point. Boom, and then around that we're going to put medium density to fill in the rest, so just medium density. Tip here is just to hold shift and you should get the pattern you want like this. Alright, and we'll just fill in the rest of these spaces. Good, good. Alright, now later on in the game when we advance more we'll be upgrading those to high density. Okay, now for a big tip for SimCity. If you're starting off and you're like, well I can't even afford to have a school, it's kind of ridiculous. 
click the question mark button down to the bottom left next to the map. Click on your school. Now you're going to come up with information about the school. As you can tell, it's got number of students, student capacity, and number of teachers. Okay, now what's important to you is the local funding. You want to bring that down so the, so the student capacity reduces because you're not going to straight away have 500 students pouring into your school. We might start off, drag it down to about 80, and we just keep an eye on it as our city grows. Local bus funding. Now I'm going to close this and zoom out. You can see if I click on elementary school again, this this yellow circle here, this is the distance that the bus can travel, and this is effective the, the, the area that the school can service. And we need to bring this down because our houses don't grow out that far. You can probably bring it down to about $20. I know we're cutting those people up on the corner, but when we can afford some more, we'll expand it out. As you can tell, we've got a space down to the bottom and to the left that we can put some low-density housing in to fill that kind of area out. Same with the high school. The local funding can be brought down even less to about 60 students. Local bus funding, you can almost bring that down to zero. And medical clinic, and we're not going to have 500 people here. We're going to have about 120. You know, you just keep an eye on this as your playthrough goes, and you can bring the local ambulance funding down so it gets about the majority of people. I'm going to be a bit cheap, $30, oh, close enough. Alright, so now that that's done, let's start. With, let's just put in some low density housing on the edge here. Now I'm going to leave where the intersections meet empty, because if we decide to expand later on, we'll be connecting these roads up. I'll be expanding further down this way, etc. You know, and I don't want to have to demolish houses that I've built. It's just a, a, you know, a bit of a way to bring a mayor rating down which means people might leave, you know, they tend not to, but you, you can lose population. Alright, so we just fill in low density around the edges, like so. Alright, now, this is kind of the tricky bit here, is the railway track. Um, I like to just bring it out, okay, down, so whenever it wants to decide to, right, like this. Bring it down so it's three above this road here. Just double check to make sure that's right. So if I was to drag this road out, three in between. That's brilliant. All right. So what I've effectively done there is I've created a main road that travels this way. It links up to both these roads here. You can just drag these roads out. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to fill this area in with some small commercial space. We're not going to have the demand straight away to be building huge commercial centers. Or well, we, if we look at the demand here, I go on this further into another video. I'll link that right about now. But we can see we've got demand for agriculture and demand for industry dirty. Some small residential demand and some more commercial demand. So we need to bring in sims. The way to do that is with industry and agriculture. Now way to, to do this really easily is before we jump into the commercial side is we're going to fill up the outside of the city. We'll just put some streets in. Drag that out to the edges of the map. Like so. You know, just drag it out as far as you think is necessary, and then we'll just fill the slot in with agriculture. There are about, I would say, $300 worth of agriculture. Just a nice small size. There go. This is where you can tell that. Because this is SimCity 4 and you want your city to, to work, so we're just going to link these up. The roads. Now this agriculture is going to bring in demand for your city, but what it will do later on is, is it's going to dirty your water supply. So we're going to need to start turning over a profit before we consider, you know, um, building one of those. Otherwise it's going to cost you much to go bankrupt. So we've got some agriculture. I could probably put some more up here as well. Okay, so now let's talk about our commercial center here. First thing you want to do is put a railway track station in. Boom, that's nice and easy. And another thing you want to do is put in a freight train station. 